So have you ever just looked at a uh, blank, blank work, plane, work plane in Tinkercad and thought, ugh, I wish there was a way to kind of get started on this a little bit easier. Well, I had that thought today, and after noodling around, I figured out there probably is a better way to get started. So I went on over to ChatGPT, and I typed, make a unicorn STL file, please. And ChatGPT says, I can't, I can't do that. That's not a thing I can do. And I said, can you 3D design a unicorn? And it said, I can come up with ideas, blah, blah, blah. That's not anything that I can use though. So I went in a different direction and I said, can you code, because I know ChatGPT likes to code, a unicorn in 3D. And check that out. So it coded something, three model of a unicorn graphic, which involves languages, right? So this is Python. So I don't know where I could paste that. So let's try, can you code a unicorn in a CAD program? Now it's really going on and on. All right. But, you know, I know there is a program called Open SCAD. So, can you code a unicorn in Open SCAD? And let's see. Check that out. So, it's doing something. Now, I can tell that this is not a full unicorn, but let's copy this code and see what ChatGPT came up with. So this is OpenSCAD. And then if I go over here to... Look at that. It made a shape. And I guess this down here is this little horn. Okay, so, I mean, that's interesting and stuff, but it's definitely not anything that I'd want to print or would be useful. So let's head back over to ChatGPT and see if we can make it make something that we can actually use. How about, uh, one of the first things that you, you know, get someone to make when they're uh, designing in 3D is like a little name tag. So, can you code a 3D name tag with the name Steve on it in open sketch? Let's see what it does. Copy that. Open SCAD. Let's delete our unicorn. And preview. That's actually quite good. Although there might be something wrong with the T there. weird looking tea. Alright, so it did that. Alright. What if let's make it uh, a keychain. Can you turn the keychain or can you turn the name tag into a keychain by adding a let's not say small, a hole. To the side. All right, so it's definitely adding a hole. Let's 
let's see what it did this time. I uh, just added a little cylinder. Or something else. Well, I think at this point we can say we definitely still need uh, 3D modelers and designers, but uh, this OpenAI thing, this, uh, this, this might be a thing. All right, so let, now let's give this thing a shot. I'm gonna go up here to File, and let's see, not there, hang on. I want to first render my design. Now it's rendered. And then I can go to File and Export and Export STL. And we're going to call it Name Tag, save it to the desktop. Now I got to find Name Tag. There it is. And now my beautiful AI generated name tag is right here. <laughs> and the name is floating above the tag. That is a classic first time designer's mistake. But gotta give ChatGPT credit, they did spell my name right. Even if they don't know how to make a hole. But still, this is a pretty good first attempt. And you know what? I think I'll print it with support so we got, you know, a shot at sticking to to uh, this tag, my name sticking to the tag for at least a little bit. Let's slice the plate. And this whole thing is gonna take 16 minutes and 58 seconds. Why not? You know what though? Let's try instead of, I like the tree support better. Slice the plate now. Yeah, that'll be nicer. Now it's gonna take 17 minutes and four seconds, but still, all right. So we'll get back to this in a second and you'll see the finished product. So here we go. It's printed. Very nice and quick. And yeah, that is in fact my name. And you can see the uh, support there. But you know what? That's a win.